Who Killed Mother Goose? The Condensed Version. Narrated by Laurel Pollard. One evening in fairy tale land, during the dress rehearsal of a play for the king and the Lost Boys Fund, don't forget, it is opening night for Barry Grimm's new play, but things are not going well. When Mother Goose and I, Little Red Riding Hood, come by to wish them luck, Mr. Grimm asks, Where's Goldilocks? and tells us to find her. Mrs. Charming is upset and worried about the performance. Mr. Charming reminds her that he's there for her and they're happily ever after. So long as there is food. That's because Little Bo Peep's catering company makes the best lamb chops around. Wolfie, get that cart out of here. It's time for rehearsal, says Raven Mad. Oh dear, Prince Charming does not look good. And the director is speaking in German. That's not a good sign. Suddenly, the three baristas call out, She's here! She's making her entrance! And what an entrance Goldilocks makes! Oh no, too foamy! Oh no, too sweet! Ah, just right! And now, the rehearsal can begin. Clear the stage. Places, everyone! Imagine an enchanted forest. What's happening? Mother Goose is dead? Everyone is in shock. The wizard and sweet Snow White, too. I have news. This was no accident, and there are witnesses. Well, no, they didn't see anything. They're the three blind mice. And then they hear the wizard, and they run after him. <laughs> Fairy Grimm, did you kill Mother Goose? Or was it you, Raven Mad? What about you, Peter Pan? Peter suggests Goldilocks did it. Did not, did too, did not, oh yeah? Sheesh. Then I see Wolfie. He must be the killer. Well, he says he's an honest wolf now and in the catering business. The wizard says I have to show motive and opportunity. Huh. Learn something new every day. So now I'm thinking the wizard did it. He's so smart. Or maybe Snow White? No, the wizard. Goldilocks suggests coffee for everyone. It has a calming effect. As the baristas serve coffee, Prince Charming bites the head off Mr. Gingerbread Man. Ouch! Ah, uh, good cup of coffee. So then they think it is me, Little Red Riding Hood, but it's not. Oh no, Snow White! Another one down. Tragic. Peter smells something. What? He smells apple cinnamon. Oh, Snow White is allergic. No, Prince Charming, not the kissing cure. Peter Pan uses some pixie dust. Yay! She's all right now. Great, back to rehearsal. But wait. The magistrates say the king is on his way. No time for rehearsal now. Oh, I'm ruined, says Barry. But the show will go on. Wolfie, what are you doing? It's time to feed all these people. <laughs> My, what a big job he has. After dinner, Barry and Raven are worrying about the play. Then the king arrives. Barry introduces his new latest creation, and then the actors all come on stage. Just as the play begins, I see Wolfie and I chase him around the stage because, because... He did it! He's the murderer! I know it this time. And I have this lamb chop as evidence. Oh, but the wizard said it can't be Wolfie. So is it Mrs. Charming? Really? Raven, you too. 
Could it be the baristas? The Muffin Man, perhaps. Do we know the Muffin Man? <laughs> Do we know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do we know the Muffin Man? The wizard notices the lamb chop is enchanted. Aha! Peter goes crazy, and then the wizard mutes him. But Peter has figured it out. He mimes us what happened. Then Goldilocks admits to tainting Snow White's drink. And Snow White promptly forgives her. Goldie figures it out. It was Raven. Which is exactly what Peter has been trying to tell us. It was the witch. All good fairy tales have one. Then Mother Goose reappears. Turns out she's not dead. Ah, uh, it's a happy ending. I hope you enjoyed the show.